Tell us how successful CEOs view failure and how that impacts how they lead and the decisions and that they make and, and, and reliability as we've been speaking about. Absolutely. Well, we found a fascinating piece of data in our research. Um, we did some linguistic analysis of how CEOs and CEO candidates talked about their experience. And every one of them has had a setback. So of the 17,000 leaders we assessed, of the 2,000 CEOs, uh, every single one of them has had both wins and losses in their career, right? And our process is really well suited to identify those. But what was different between those who succeeded and those who, who were less likely to succeed is how they talked about failure. Um, individuals who use the word failure to like, talk about, oh, I failed at blank, were actually half as likely to be successful CEOs as those who talked about mistakes in a very matter-of-fact way. And so seeing something as a failure and you know, makes you more likely to want to avoid it, right? Makes, makes it more likely for you to feel that this is something embarrassing or something shameful. And we've all been there. But what was fascinating is that we've seen CEOs who've had major, major blow-ups in their career. Uh, about 45% uh, of, of the CEOs we've looked at had huge blow-ups. Doing an acquisition that cost the company half a billion dollars. I mean, it's pretty safe to assume that anybody kind of listening to this conversation, if you've ever felt completely down and you've just made a really embarrassing mistake, I guarantee you there's a CEO out there who's been in the hotter water. There's a CEO out there who's probably done, made a dumber mistake either at your stage in their career and probably a costlier one in, as a CEO. And so what we found is what really differentiates successful leaders is how they look at those mistakes and ability to stare them in the eye and use them as learning opportunities as opposed to allow those to derail them and be ashamed of the failure, so to speak.